Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day four of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. This is a collaboration with several members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. And today we're going to make a shaker card. So if you are watching this video and enjoying it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Check below in the description box for links to the other people that are also making tutorials, as well as the supply list that I'm using. All right, so we're gonna make a shaker card and it's gonna, in my case, it's gonna be multi pieces that we're going to use. And I wanna start with a page out of a Bible. I wanna alter the color of it. So I'm laying it into my box that I like to use when I spray things. And I have a Christmas Dream Christmas Berry. It's a bright red. Uh, you could also use, let's see, I have Radiant Red in my shop. Marmalade's not quite the right red. I think Cross My Heart is another good Tattered Angels red. You could also paint it with a regular acrylic paint if you want, and then use maybe Dazzling Diamonds to give it sparkle. I'm going to spray this all over until the whole thing is saturated. I want this to be really coated well, so I'm using a paintbrush to help smooth out this color a little bit. I might spray a little bit more. So it's really coated a nice deep red. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry for a little bit. And we'll move on to doing the other portions. So for my shaker card, I have these Santa domino images from Calico Collage. They are about one inch by two inch in size. So I've cut a piece of black paper that's slightly larger because I want to mount this to go inside my shaker card. So I'm just going to glue these together with a Lean's Tacky Glue, and I'll put them one on each side of this piece, trying to center it as best that I can. And then I'll go ahead and turn it over and put the Santa on the other side. So there's my two-sided Santa. I have here a piece of transparency film. You can't quite see it, but it is three inches by four inches in size. Then I have a roll of, this is, 3D tape, foam tape. Um, if you don't have foam tape, you could cut strips of maybe some chipboard and use some double-sided tape or use the best glue ever. That's an option that you could use. I happen to have a bunch of this, so I'm going to use it today. And what I'm going to do is put this where it's just slightly coming past my transparency film in a straight line as much as possible here and I'll trim it off I'm gonna leave it a little bit long and I'll come up the other side and go all the way around this piece of transparency I'm leaving it a little bit long because I'm filling in each area so now I'm going to come in here go across and then just cut it to the inside and I should have left this side long so I'm going to fix that I'm just cutting off a piece so that I can come back in and line this up and made it even with the edge. So I'm just going to cut all of these straight across so I have this square all the way around. Well, this inside area is going to be my portion where I glue everything down. So what I'm going to do is clean it just a little bit with a paper towel, a soft cloth, because so I don't want there to be any fingerprints in the middle okay and the next thing I'm going to do is try not to lay it down on my surface too much but I want to put this guy in the middle so I'm looking at this I think this can be the back and this is going to be the front so what I'm going to do is take my best glue ever and I will put a little bit of this glue onto my Santa so I'll, I'll kind of hide it by coming into his beard here across this glue will dry clear so I'm basically just doing this so that when I paste it down it will stick to the transparency film so I'm going to let that dry while I have it out I also have some little sequins here I'm going to turn around to the back side and I will put a drop of glue on each one 
of these sequins. And then I have a couple more sequins or three more sequins that are gold. And I'm flipping those over and I'll put glue on the back side of these. I'm gonna let this air dry until that glue is clear. I'm moving my little frame out of the way for a moment while I'm waiting on this to dry. And we're gonna go back to my book page and I wanna dry this with my heat tool and then we're gonna cut it into some strips. So this is dry and you want to make sure it's dry before you try to cut it. And what I'm going to do first is cut away the outer area or borders that don't have any text because I just want text. I am using a page out of a Bible. I like using pages that I kind of know what wording is going to be in there. You can use anything that you like. If you don't want to see the words, you may want to cover them up just a little bit. I will cut two inch strips. I'll probably have more strips than I need, but it's always good to cut extras just in case. And I will fold these in half lengthwise. Now that I have these strips, I'll go around the edges with some distress ink. This is walnut stain. Okay, so now I have these strips laid out here. So I'm gonna come back to my little frame here. And I want to line up on the edges. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of and press this into place. And I'll go on the other side and do the same thing. And then I'll do the top and bottom. Since there's no sticky on this portion, I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. And then I'll press this down. I'm trimming off the excess on the edges. All right, so now I have all these pieces on the outside ready to go. And then I have this inner well area. I have a paper punch. This was an old punch bunch. And so I want to punch out a couple of these holly leaves. So I've got holly leaf here. If you don't have a paper punch like this you could cut your own by hand i'm adding a little bit of distress ink not a lot this is the side that has the glue that has been dried so i'm going to put just a touch of aline's tacky glue on here and grab one of these paper punch and put it right on top just wiping away any excess glue here and then i'm going to put this face down in the center of what's going to be my shaker card and press it into place so that glue the best glue ever has now made this adhered to our transparency film that i've cut down you could also use packaging something like that all right so now that i have this part ready i've got some sequins here i've got some little beads let's see if we can't put a few things in here. So I'm just gonna grab a few little sequins. Then I've got these little bitty beads or holeless beads, the little tiny beads. So now what I'm going to do is peel back the paper off of these strips gently and carefully. And then I'll start folding in my papers. I wanna make sure that it goes all the way to the edge. I'll go ahead and do the side piece. I keep sticking my hand to these sequins. All right, so I'm gonna put a little glue right here and here so I can fold this up. And then do the same over here. You know what? I forgot to put down my other piece of transparency film. I wasn't thinking. So you know what? We're gonna improvise. Okay, so since I messed up, what I'm going to do is take the best glue ever because it won't stick, glue won't stick unless I have double-sided glue or tape to the transparency film. So I'm just gonna come in here and add a little strip of this 
glue to the edge and we'll let this air dry. I was going to use a strip of paper, but I think I have some trim. So I'm going to dig around in my embellishment bag and I'll be right back. I found some trim and it looks like the glue is just about dry. So I'm going to go ahead and place my transparency film over that glue. And then I know I have this little white trim. Oh, I think this is going to look really cute. Okay, so I'm going to put some more of the best glue ever on the edge of my transparency film here. And then we'll let this dry and I'll be right back. While the glue is drying, I'm going to set this aside for a moment. I have a piece of paper here and I've got the same red Tattered Angel, so I'm going to spray this. Maybe use my paintbrush a little bit to help spread this around. A little bit more. And I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. So this was a scrap that I had from cutting up some journal cards. And what I want to do now is take the Ho 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 Small and ink it up with Archival Ink Jet Black. And I'll put it kind of over to one side just a little bit. And then I want to rip around here. So I'll apply some Distress Inks to this edge. And it looks like the glue is still drying, so we'll give that a little bit more time. And then I will show you the rest of this embellished shaker card. The glue is almost dry. It's somewhat transparent. I think it's enough that I can go ahead and use it. And this is some trim that I had in a Christmas Dream subscription box I happen to have left over. And you know, sometimes when you have an accident, it's not uh, necessarily a bad thing. I think it may be actually cuter when I get done. So I'm going to start in this upper corner and ease this around the frame in the center by attaching it to the glue all the way around. So I'll kind of fold it in just a little bit and tack it into that glue. So I'm just easing it around and we'll get around to the other side here and I'll overlap it just a smidge, not much and stick that down. And now I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right on top of this, which will help hold it into place and it'll give a nice decorative stitch to this. So just one moment. Okay, so I'm over here on my sewing machine and I've got it set up for a regular zigzag stitch with regular thread and we're going to stitch just inside all the way around. Now I may need to change the foot that I have on here but I think I can get a buy with using the one that I had. So I'm just going to start it here in the corner and stitch and go all the way around. When I get to the corner, I leave my presser foot down and I'll just rotate my whole piece and then put the presser foot back down and then continue stitching. So I've stitched all the way around on that inside. Now I want to stitch around the outside edge. So now all the stitching is done. Let's go back to our main desk. So as you can see, the little pieces are flowing around. Isn't that cute? All right, so let's finish decorating. I've got my ho, 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 and I think that would be super cute laying up here. And I think I want a little bit of this greenery sticking out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the backside here to stick this in. There we go. And then I'm gonna put glue on here and then glue this in the corner here. I've got an acrylic block that I'm gonna lay on top just to help hold that in place. And then on this side, I've got a couple more of these little greenery pieces. And I think I'm gonna stick them where they're down below, down here, and glue those down. It might help if I have my camera over here where it's supposed to be. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back side of here, and then just kind of poke that up underneath. And then do the same with this one. And then I have these sequins that we've put glue on. So I'm going to put a couple of those on here. And I have an, another one that I want to put up here. And then I have these gold sequins that I'm putting right in the center. Now, didn't that turn out pretty cute? Do you like it? And then a fun way to make a little shaker card. This could even be on the cover of a journal if you wanted to. So there's with the back side, 
And then here is the front side. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my take on making a holiday shaker card. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Know that, you know, there's never really mistakes. It's just an opportunity to try something new. And I hope you like the way that I turned this into a good thing. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Again, check the description box below for the links to the other people that are also involved in this video hop. And I really appreciate you being here. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group where we share lots of fun junk journal things. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.